do a teleportation you have to go in this hierarchy option and simply right click and you will see xr and here there are two things teleportation anchor and teleportation area so the major difference of these two things are teleportation area allows you to teleport anywhere of that particular area and it's like free moving or you can teleport in any surface of that teleportation area and in teleportation anchor it will be fixed position like it's a spot where you can teleport like if you want to teleport near cube and don't want to move in many places then you will definitely add teleportation anchor and it will allow you to teleport on that particular area only and we we added one teleportation area bring that up let's change material let's scale it in teleportation area you can make it as much bigger you want so you will be able to travel in whole area and we'll be checking that in virtual reality headset as well if we check this in here it is let's try what is teleportation area if you press this play button then you'll see in teleportation area we are here and we can see our teleportation area and if you press your control button you see we are not able to teleport now as we haven't done one important thing in unity so we'll be doing that first in teleportation area you need to come to this section you can the teleportation area script here so you have to go to this interaction layer mask and what you have to do is you have to do it only for teleport and you can check it by yourself as well and we'll leave this match orientation hold space And let's test it once again. Press play button again, then look, we can see that we are able to teleport. So we have to say or make our interaction view that we want teleport in this area, and we have it a teleportation area. So in this way that interaction XR interaction we have added is very useful so it helps us to identify that we are going to teleport and it's teleportation area it will identify it from there and now we can teleport now we'll be adding teleportation anchor to our scene let's increase the size of our ground plane Now we'll be adding teleportation anchors. So we can add it by two ways. Like you can add teleportation anchor and it will add a plane. Let's resize it. you have to make sure that 
way you are facing, you can do it by this local and z axis. So if you want to face towards this queue, you have to rotate and make sure your z axis is pointing towards Q then when you press that anchor you will be in that particular position and facing towards that Z axis and we can see a hedge teleportation anchor script in this one and one thing you have to change or uh, if you want you can change that you have to definitely change this to teleport and other than that make sure you make this orientation to target up and forward so after doing this you will be able to make that change what i said that you will be facing to us the date axis so we want that as uh, yeah, this teleportation anchor are very small area and we don't want people to move around or try to source or see our things not at first but in other see other things than that so we want our user to see it our queue first so we have added this anchor and let's add other as well we can simply duplicate it yes a different direction and other you can simply add a cube and let's resize it you can make your own anchors as well so i want to show that here if you made it like this and added teleportation anchor to it then it will be our teleportation anchor and as it have box collider it, it works way better than plane you can add it according to your need and the thing box collider is one of a box or a line created which helps in collision and it is similar to mesh collider but the major difference is that mesh collider is a bit detail shaped like if you have a 3d model of car and if you have mesh collider then definitely mesh collider will be covering every part of that car but box collider will be a box and car will be inside that box so this helps for collision and let's change this layer marks to teleport as we are going to teleport in this cube and let's check where we are facing so we have to change we are facing this side now and if we rotate we'll be facing this direction and we want to see cube this red cube and change this to target up and forward and let's test this in VR asset I'll tell you what and have to Can see that due to that z axis we are facing this side first click on to that place you are seeing it on that particular z axis section that is teleport you can see facing towards that direction on it will be easy see that cube and if i i would have on my user to this direction then they would not 
the cube at the first glance, so it's better. You can see where we are facing. Now the main takeaway from this teleportation part is you need to know about teleportation area and it allows you to move freely inside virtual reality environment or your project and the thing you need most is mesh collider which allows you to collide or no, have interaction with that particular object and there is box collider as well and other sphere collider is also there but I am mentioning mesh collider and box collider and they are both help to collide and know where the object is or what is the particular object and give inputs to our controller and other thing is teleportation area script where you have to set this interaction layer max to teleport which is main important thing of this teleportation and other than that is fine and for teleportation anchor you will not move as freely as teleportation area but it helps you to position your user or yourself to see things where your orientation is to activate that everything in this teleportation anchor is same but this target mesh orientation is target up and forward and when anybody will click this they will face towards z-axis and now we'll go for grab in virtual reality 